Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 29th of May, Wednesday, after the Holy Trinity, Ambrose, Bishop of Milan, 333-397. He's writing of a famous incident in his ministry in which he sold Eucharistic vessels of the cathedral to ransom captives. Luther frequently refers to this act of mercy as a model for social ministry, writes Ambrose. It is a very great incentive to mercy, to share in others' misfortunes, to help the needs of others as far as our means allow, and sometimes even beyond them. For it is better for mercy's sake to help someone's cause or to suffer contempt rather than to show hardness of heart. So I once brought contempt on myself because I broke up the sacred vessels to redeem captives. Who can be so hard, cruel, iron-hearted as to be displeased because a man is redeemed from death? a woman from barbarian prostitution, or boys and girls and infants from those things that are worse than death. It is far better to preserve souls than gold for the Lord. And the prayer Hillary of Poitiers, that's P-O-I-T-I-E-R-S, 315, 367. Thou unbegotten God, the Sire, and Thou, the sole begotten Son, who with the Spirit's sacred fire art everlasting three in one. To Thee no mortal calls in vain, nor does the lover of the light lift up unheard a prayerful strain, nor blindly seek Thy holy height. Reminded by the rising sun, to thee our grateful hearts we bring, with love and praise and orison and hymns and songs we gladly sing. Lord, let the day be one of light. Behold all our labors unto thee, thou who has brought us out of night. Keep us in strong sincerity. Amen.